Georgia and Georgia Tech. The Yellow Jackets, the Bulldogs, coming your way from Sanford Stadium on a gorgeous afternoon in Athens, GA. Also very similar in this game, you have to know that both of these programs and their fan bases will define this season by the outcome of this contest. Georgia won last year in Atlanta. Two years ago, Georgia Tech won here at Sanford Stadium. Georgia Tech won the toss, they defer, so Georgia will have it first. Reggie Davis will bring it out of the end zone. An electrifying return man is stuck at the 15-yard line. Austin had a big interception. With that win against Virginia for Georgia Tech. We'll go with Chubb again. Big hole right up the middle, and he'll have another first down out over the 40. Remember, Chubb didn't get to play against Georgia Tech last year. Vince has been one of those that uh, has been a thin but don't break type throughout 2016. Another first down for Nick Chubb off the four-man look for the Jackets. They'll give it to the shell and will drive his way. That'll be good enough for another first down as he picks up Sun. That's one of the shortest distances of any in the country. Georgia Tech 124th in stopping opponents on third down. They'll get the stop here. Pass dropped. They call him Hot Rod around here. He's taken over the, the duties and has been pretty successful. This from 42 yards away, and he will miss it left. Rodrigo came in 11 of 30 versus this run option attack. Thomas will keep it. There's the pitch. Big play for Georgia Tech. Taken by Searcy and Quay into Georgia there as a tackle. Pitch it again, big hole off the right side. Taken by Lynch to the end zone. Touchdown, Georgia Tech, 41 yards. Clinton Lynch has been their big play guy all year, and he breaks off. Harrison Butker with the point after attempt. He will split the uprights. Clinton Lynch averaging seven. From a near side, here's Godwin. He is hit and dropped. That'll be a loss of three, maybe four. To put the Georgia offense behind in the down and distance on a long third. Eason. Throws on the run, pass is caught on the far side. It'll go to Isaac Nauta. He is down to the... Throw it again on second down. Sling it near side. Ridley making the catch to the 20. That'll be close to the first down. Let's see third down and one coming up. High formation, they'll give it to Chubb, and he'll get across the 20 down to the 17-yard line. Just power foot for Georgia so far. Second down, here's Michelle. Off the right side, he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Bulldogs. but also chewing up clock. Blankenship's point after is up and good. Just all time at Georgia Tech. There's the pitch and it goes out of bounds. Was it at the line? Reacting because this offense can make you wrong based on how you play defensively. Wide open down the field, another huge play. Brad Stewart inside the 20, down to the 10, and Georgia Tech again with a massive pickup, 64 yards. To the end zone, touchdown, Marcus Marshall. That didn't take long. Talk about time of possession for Georgia, grinding out the clock. You think it would be the option offense? Scores one at Sanford Stadium, and the point after will make it a 14 to seven game. There's two victories at Georgia Tech. Here's Sony Michelle trying to break a tackle, gonna get a block. And he has bounced out of bounds over the 40 yard line. Football more. 
And there have been a concerted effort to do that ever since. There's Michelle. Stutter steps through the hole. Michelle inside the 20 to the 15. They will spot his progress right at the 15, 42 more yards. Just outside the six yard line. Michelle still in the game. Here's McKenzie. They'll go to Isaiah. Touchdown Bulldogs. And he's got a few words for Lawrence Austin. One versus Riley Ridley. One after is up and good. Big shots downfield. That was just the 20th play run by Georgia Tech today. There's the pitch. And that'll be a first down for the Jackets as J.J. Green. Green had already gotten leverage on Lorenzo Carter. And as soon as that happened, the pitch man's going to take it for a big game. Thomas. Isaiah Willis lost the football. Georgia picks it up. It's Dom Sanders. He'll have it inside the 30 down to the 28-yard line. Looking down at 7 from the 25. Neeson will throw over the middle. Down to the 15-yard line goes Jeb Lazovich, the junior tied in. With a catch over there in the flat. Third down for the Dogs. Here comes some heat. Neeson flushed. Back pedals, throws, passes, caught. Actually dropped by Nall. Catch. Georgia will line up for a field goal. 27 yards out, Rodrigo Blankenship. Up the middle on the dive play. Thomas drops inside the 15 yard line. Aaron Davis on a safety blitz. This one was around four, four and a half as we were getting ready for kickoff today. So expect this one to go down to the wire today. Here wow. at Sanford Stadium. Boy, nice running, hard running. The pain will line up in front of Sony Michelle. Big hole, Sony Michelle. He's down to the 25 yard line. And there's a flag for a face mask at the end of the play. Four carries for 149 on the ground in the 2015 matchup. Georgia's run for 222. They'll add to that here with Nick Chubb. He's inside the 10 down to the 6. Georgia offense, there might be a little bit of fatigue. McKenzie in motion. They'll go inside. Hand off Nick Chubb. Touchdown, Bulldogs. Eason with the hold. Blankenship with the point after. Thomas, little throwback. Tackle eligible play. No game. On third down, here comes some heat. Georgia going up top. Godwin is there, makes the catch. He is tripped up inside the 35 by Lawrence Austin. Here comes some more heat from Jackets. That pass batted away at the last moment. Higo Blankenship, one out of two today. He hit from 27, missed from 42. And this one will split the uprights. Redshirt freshman at a offense. The other piece of the build, the defense clearly settling in. Thomas. That's time going over the middle. There's Cersei again. He hit from behind, but at the 35-yard line. Maury. The two Georgia safeties, and just like that, Georgia Tech's in plus territory. There's the pitch. Down to the 27-yard line goes Clinton Lynch. To get him into the plus territory. Marshall kicks it to the outside. Gets a couple of blocks, turns the corner. He's around the 10-yard line. They'll spot it inside the nine. He picks it. Georgia's running out of players in the secondary. Georgia Tech, though, going to drive their way into the end zone. Mills from five yards out, and Georgia Tech strikes. They go nearly the length of the field. Seven plays, 94 yards in three minutes. And
Point after, up and good. We got our high for Sony Michelle with 168 today against the Jackets. Eason on the run. Godwin with the catch first down. It goes without some. Wouldn't be surprised if we saw a play action. Second down. Eason coming near side. That one is picked off. Intercepted by Lance Austin, who had a big interception last week. A pick six against the Cavaliers. Thomas throws, passes, caught. That'll be a first down, Georgia Tech. Clinton Lynch. Some big, powerful running by Marshall. Davin Bellamy hanging on. Not before Marshall picks play. Searcy has a block. He is hammered out of bounds. Let's see where they spot him, right around the 10-yard line. Suffice it to say, it comes down to this. Two down territory, no question, no way to pick up a first down. You've got two cracks at the end zone and two chances to defend it. Little throwback, Cersei decides to keep it. Dives for the end zone, touchdown, Georgia Tech! It looked like Quay Cersei was trying to throw it. With a chance now to give the Jackets the lead. Eight plays, 46 yards. Georgia, six seconds to go. Eason, hit as he throws, high in the air. Nobody there but a white jersey and it's picked off and the Jackets have done it again in Athens. Twenty-eight, twenty-seven. Georgia Tech comes from behind to beat the Bulldogs. He just knew in this ball game that Georgia Tech was never out of it. Even when Georgia seemed to dominate, certainly in the third quarter, able to run the football almost at will for the bulk of the football game.